Hello, I'm Bob Criston with Lucas Millhop, North America's largest supplier of both brazing and soldering alloys and fluxes. I've been instructing contractors in the field for 11 years now on brazing techniques. Previously, I was a refrigeration contractor for 35 years and a refrigeration instructor at a community college for 11. The reason for this video is to introduce you to ALA 22, which repairs aluminum and joins aluminum with copper as well. It's been popular to replace those coils out in the field, but now with some simple steps, we'll show you how to make those repairs. Uh, once the leak is located, we have to then remove the refrigerant from the system and then clean with a stainless steel wire brush, only using a stainless steel wire brush and not one with copper bristles. If oil is present, spray with a non-flammable degreaser. Use of a large tip propane torch is essential because the coil absorbs a great deal of heat. During the heating procedure, have the rod in place. Once the orange flame is detected, the rod can then be applied to the surface. If the flame is not seen, by tapping the rod onto the surface until it begins to flow is essential. As we're heating, it's essential that we place the rod at 12 o'clock onto the surface to allow the alloy to flow and the flux to enter the joint. As we continue the heat and the alloy flows, we pull the heat away and allow the joint to cool. As the joint cools and we're satisfied with the results, we then clean and visually inspect to ensure a leak tight repair. When joining copper to aluminum, the same process is done. The only difference is the heat is placed onto the copper and is transferred to the aluminum. Thank you and we hope this video has been helpful. If these steps are followed, you can be assured of a leak tight repair.